Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I'm going to be going in with this color right here and it is called, I guess, the number 9. It doesn't give an exact shade name. So we're going to be going in with that and we're going to be using it on our eyebrows. Okay, so I have a confession while I do my eyebrows. So this makeup look, I had no idea where it was going. I had no idea what I was going to create. I just knew that I wanted to do a mermaid look. So the idea popped up just because I went to Walmart with my boyfriend. And we were goofing around, seeing all the Halloween stuff and everything. And I was like, oh my god, a mermaid thingy. You know, like the little rhinestones and the little headband and all this cute stuff. And I was like, oh, I want to do a makeup video. And he's like, all right, fine, get it. So I got it. And it was really, really inexpensive, by the way. We'll talk about that when they pop out in the video. But yeah, it was very inexpensive and affordable, of course. And uh, I thought that you guys would like to see a video, but I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know what color my brows were going to be. I didn't know the eyeshadow color. I didn't know anything. So I was like, okay, I'll just see where this takes me. I'm not going to lie. Right after I did my eyebrows during this video, I was like, oh, I'm ready to give up. I don't know if I should like continue or like stop. I feel like I'm going to mess up the whole makeup look. But yeah, um, I guess I did do a good job. I got a lot of good compliments from this makeup look. Oh, by the way, you guys, see that spoolie right there that I'm using? It comes with my eyelashes. So with every pair of eyelashes that you purchase from KJ Lashes, you receive a free little spoolie, which is so adorable. And I didn't want to mess up my... I didn't want to have to clean up. I wouldn't. I don't want to say mess up. I didn't want to have to clean up my Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use this spoolie. And it was very, very handy. So <laughs> it comes with your lashes. By the way, KJ Lashes is linked down below. I will give you guys more details once these are shown in the video. Next, I'm going in with this blue and it is called Primary 5 on the palette. So the reason why I wanted to use this blue is because I wanted to create like an ombre look. So if you guys can see, it's like really, really dark blue at that outer corner. But I wanted it to like tone down a little bit to like a dark purple. So yeah, being a weirdo like that, uh, I just kept it like this and I simply blended it with the spoolie. And I got that purplish, pinkish eyebrow. Next, I'm going to be going in with my MAC foundation and I'm going to be cleaning out my brows. So the reason why I'm using my, my foundation to do this, I was going to say Mao. <laughs> what the fuck is Mao? <laughs> so the reason why I'm using my foundation to clean out my eyebrows is because I don't like to use concealer. The reason why is because I feel like it leaves a lot of white like on there. And I don't know, I just don't like to deal with this. So I like it to look a lot more natural. So that's the reason why I use my foundation to clean my brows. So it blends out with the rest of the color of my face. Okay, so now so that we can make this video a lot more simple, I'm going to skip all the way to the part where I'm done with cleaning my brows so you guys can see how I create the eyeshadow. Yes, yes, I know. We're going to be using the James Charles palette by Morphe. <laughs> Who doesn't love this palette? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be focusing on this area right here. Only because I want to use those purples and blues. You guys already saw the picture. You get the point. So I'm going to be starting off with this shade right here. And it is called Escape. And we're going to be applying this on our crease. So I'm going to be zooming you guys in a little bit. So you guys can get a closer look to how I blend my eyeshadow. I know, I know, the pimples, yes, yikes. Uh, I can't get rid of them. Like, I started using this deep clean uh, face wash or whatever, but I just can't get rid of them since I got that allergic reaction to, like, this moisturizer, which I mentioned in a previous video. <sighs> so, yeah. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Playground, and this is, like, a beep beep does it say baby blue <laughs> it's a baby blue and i know people are probably gonna be like what the fuck are you doing you're breaking the makeup rules like what the hell are you doing emily like get it together you cannot mix those two colors together but yes bitch i'm here to tell you this yes you can you definitely can because that is the whole point of halloween you get to play with makeup you get to mix different colors you get to do all these crazy makeup looks and this look turned out okay so 
Yes, we can. Go ahead and mix that baby blue with purple. Go on. Next, we're going to take a little bit of the shade Skip. Not too much because it's very pigmented and we don't want to make a mess. And we're going to be applying this above our crease very, very lightly. Just keep blending until it gets smooth and smoky. Because we do not want this to look like it's just on there since it's very bright. And remember that it's much easier if you blend side to side or in circles. Small circles. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade right here, and it's called Acapella. It's shimmery. We're going to be applying this on our lid with a flat brush. Now I'm just going to be applying my foundation and like I mentioned before, I'm using the MAC foundation. By the way, you guys, I recently purchased some drugstore drug makeup. What the hell is wrong with me today? I'm just stuttering over all of my words. Anyways, I bought some drugstore makeup like foundations and concealers and stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a drugstore tutorial for like the fall or for Halloween makeup looks or something. So yeah, um, they were actually very inexpensive. They were like under $5. So let me know if you guys want to see that type of videos. Next, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Concealer. And I'm going to be applying this on my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, on top of my lip, and my forehead. Next, I'm going to be applying some loose powder from Urban Decay. And I'm going to be applying this all over those areas where I applied some concealer. Ha, can you guys tell that I can't find my foundation powder? I'm like looking around all over the place for it. <laughs> and I finally found it. it was like behind my mirror. So yeah, now we're going to be setting our face with some foundation powder and I'm using the MAC one too. Now I'm going to be going in with these stickers. I'm going to be applying, I don't know why I did this. This was just extra. I had no clue where this was going. But I did apply these little stickers out on the sides of my eyes. And I applied this pink, the shade Skip. And... Then I removed the little sticker and it left like a little heart shape on there. I just thought it was kind of cute. But yeah, you guys don't have to do this. I just did this, you know, just for fun. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Skip and I'm going to be applying this all over my lower lash line. Then we're going to be using the shade Escape and we're going to be applying that right on top of the other shade, Skip. And lastly, I'm going to be applying the shade Playground. Remember the baby blue? Yeah, it's that one. Next, I'm going in with my Max Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild and I'm only going to be applying a couple of coats on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Italia Deluxe Blue Eyeliner. I don't know what the shade is called, but these eyeliners, I know, I know that are very affordable. They are below $5. So, yeah, they are very, very pretty, guys. Next, I'm going in with my KJ Lashes in the style Baddest Bitch. You guys, oh my god, I do not get tired of saying this. These are the best freaking lashes ever. Think about this. These lashes are $7. The link is down below, by the way. They're $7. If you use my discount code, you receive a free little gift. So, they're only $7, you guys. Come on. Oh, this is it right here. Gem Party, $5. It comes with this little glue, all these little gems. It's super, super affordable from Walmart, you guys. That was it right there. This is the glitter from JCAT that I'm going to be using. It is a baby blue and I'm going to be applying this with a very, very tiny brush. And I'm just going to like make that effect like so that it looks like the glitter is just like falling down. Like if I'm crying glitter. Oh, don't we all wish we could do that? <laughs> Next, 
this is what the little gems look like you guys there is a lot of them on there and i'm just gonna use my fingers i was gonna use tweezers but then i was like nah they're pretty big i can do it so i'm gonna be applying like a little cross on my forehead and well you guys get the picture you guys can follow this step by step the top the bottom and then the side and then the other side also you guys i was like oh this glue might not even work so you guys can see that i'm like pressing hard on there but no this glue definitely works and for its price too it comes in the little package it was 5.98 i believe so yeah this glue actually stayed on there when i was using my makeup remover towels and they're like oil based i was struggling to get that glue off so <laughs> it's very good Oh yeah, now we're going to be going in on the sides, you know, where we contour like right under our cheekbones. We're going to be applying some of those gems as well. So like I said before, I had no clue where this makeup look was going. So I just started applying these gems in like a random, random pattern. So yeah, um, just follow step by step. It shouldn't be too hard. Now that I have applied my wig, <laughs> ta -da! I'm going to be using my Maybelline lipstick. You guys, these lipsticks are the bomb. They don't come off. I mean, they do eventually, but they are so, so good and they're not sticky like most are. And you can be drinking stuff and everything and you won't, it won't be all over the place. In other words, you can just kiss your boyfriend and you'll be fine. Okay, so now we're going to be applying some glue on our lips and I'm going to be using this J-Cat glitter on my lips. So... Let's go ahead and apply that with a little brush. And yes, I'm not gonna lie, I made a mess with that glitter all over my desk. <sighs> the struggles of using glitter. So these are the other items that I got. They were $7.98 and it was a mermaid like little hand thingies you guys are going to see right now. And then like this little crown with like flowers and little pearls. It was so, so pretty and it has like a shell at the top. So I just put it on over my wig like this and it came with a little necklace. It had like a little shell and a seashell. And now these are the little hand thingies I was talking about. And yeah, that is how I created this look. So if you guys like what I just did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.